Hey y'all, what it is, bitch? I just want to talk about this like mini story time, and this ties into how mammies have lowered the stock of all black women. Okay, mammies, you know, they see everybody sees how y'all act. The Sukihanas, the sexy reds, the the hoes that's just rapping about sucking dick down to the base. The hoes are just rapping about eating niggas' booties. They see this shit. Everybody sees this shit on TikTok, on Instagram, on YouTube. Everybody sees how desperate mammies are, okay? And how it paints a picture of all black women. And maybe this is why I'm having such fucking issues in my dating life. So, let me guys, let me tell you guys this little mini story time. So, I matched with this really attractive guy who sent on his profile that he was looking for marriage. And looking for to start a family and all those nice things, right? That I want, you know, in the next few years. Because I'm 29. Bitch, it's time to get on the fucking... It's time to get get on with it if I'm going to have some goddamn kids. So, you know, I matched with him. We talk. And we talked on the phone. The first thing he mentioned was, like, full disclosure. I, I was divorced. I got divorced, like, last year. But I'm still cool with my ex. We're on good terms. I'm like, if you're on good terms, then why are you divorced, Sir? That's why I asked him straight up. He's like, well, you know what? Like, she was having fertility issues, and she couldn't get pregnant, and I just, I love her, because she got all depressed and shit, and it just ruined our relationship. She should, she couldn't have a kid, and I really wanted a kid. And I'm like, so you left your, your wife when she was going through fertility issues and all that, and depression, and me, as someone who has mental health issues, that really pissed me off. And then he starts to say, well, I still talk to her and check up on her because I feel bad for her. And I talk to her, and I'm like, I'm like, so when was the last time you talked to her? He's like, last week. I mean, I still talk to her a lot. We're like homies a little bit, you know, and I give her advice. I'm like, well, that's, you know, I say, why can't she afford a therapist, huh? You can't give her a therapist? Like, what? Like, she, if, anyway, it wasn't that adding up and y'all know that my ex-boyfriend the russian ex uh cheated on me with his ex-fiance and it was triggering me so much that i had to say something i said look my last relationship ended because i dumped his ass because he wouldn't let go of his ex-fiance so uh if, if it's gonna be one of these type of situations um i'm not with it he said well i'm gonna i'm going you know i'm technically single right now olivia but like if we were to get together i would definitely just cut her off I will, i'm like bullshit i'm like how 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 long are we all together he's like eight years yeah, bullshit. So yeah, um, I basically hung up on the motherfucker's face and, you know, call me what you want to call me, but I'm not going to be anybody's, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm not doing that shit. I refuse to feel like a third in my relationship again. That's a horrible fucking feeling. I'm not poly polyamorous or any of that shit. So anyway, y'all, my point is, you know, the fact that this white guy had the nerve to think that I would be okay with it kind of pissed me off. It made me feel like, hmm, you know, just, you know, me as a black woman, you know, um, I, I'm a black woman, all right? At the end of the day, that's how people are going to see me. Whether I'm on a dating app, whether I'm at the damn store, people see me as a black woman. They don't see me as divested. I don't, I don't say I'm divested everywhere. I don't put on my dating apps that I'm divested, all this shit. They just see that I like white guys, okay? Like, anyway, my point is, I feel like a lot of mammies, um, and their thirstiness for black dick has transpired to the interracial dating because a lot of white guys and other races of men probably think that we're, that we're just as desperate as those fucking mammies. We'll just take anything. We'll be okay with you talking to your ex. We'll be okay that you left your ex when she was depressed and had fertility issues. We'll be okay with that. We'll just nurse you back to health and pop out some kids for your stupid ass. Fuck yeah. Okay? Th th anyway, y'all... The mammies are fucking it up in the dating pool. I don't blame the app for this shit. I blame the fact that I share a phenotype with a group of women who are desperate for kangs. Okay, that's all. I'm not blaming those divested women here. But yeah, it kind of feels like... Anyway, y'all. <laughs> that's how my dating life's going. The last guy I was fucking with, uh, I just had to let him go. He was very mature. He was 29, but he acted like he was 24. Um, the only thing he was good for was his tongue game and him making me come for my belated birthday sex. That was it. But yeah, y'all. Um, you know, when you're dating, be extra careful. Some of these non-black guys, um, they, they sometimes think you're desperate. I, th I really feel like this. I really feel like some of them, snow dusties is what I call them. Not real, these are not real white daddies. These are, these are snow dusties that think that you'll just be gullible and go along with anything simply because you're a black woman. That's how I feel. Okay. All right. Bye y'all.